Hello, everybody. Uh, Dr. White back again, this time with some tips for getting you into the DA for Chapter 3, Basic Probability. Uh, today, the college is updating um, the RStudio server to a cool new version. So I'm working here on um, an RStudio that's installed on my own laptop. So the look is a little bit different, but I think you'll be able to follow along. Uh, remember, there's a few things you need to do whenever you uh, start anything new. So, for example, I've cleared my global environment. Uh, notice how it's empty. I pushed the little broom to do that and said yes. Um, and, you know, I went and got the DA. So you'll get the DA from the common folder. And don't forget, as soon as you do that, you want to say file, save as, and save it into your submit directory. Okay, once you've done that, let's go ahead and uh, put your name and say to save, but I'm not going to do that uh, because this is over here in my um, I'm not going to do that because this is um, a uh, a repository where I, I prepare general materials, but you would actually put your name there and save. And uh, then you would knit it up and take a look, see uh, what they want you to do. And so I see that you need to make sure that package tiger stats is attached. So I'll just look down in the uh, DA itself, and yep, there's the command, library tiger stats, and so I'll click the little arrow running that code chunk. Tiger stats is definitely attached, and now I'm ready to read the directions. That's going to be a little bit easier to read over here in the knitted version than in the RStudio, so over to the knitted version we go. There are two games, game A and game B. Okay. The rules for game A are uh, flip a fair coin once. If it's heads, you win $4. If it's tails, you win $2. So yippee dippy doo, uh, you are definitely going to win some money. Okay. Now, there's another game out there, game B. And it has different rules. You flip a fair coin twice. And if that coin lands heads both times, you win $40. But otherwise, you're going to lose $8. And that one looks a lot more scary, but also very appealing in some way. Because you got to get heads twice to win. Anything else, you're going to lose $8. On the other hand, if you get heads twice, you win a lot. So there's uh, some questions you've got in your head, probably, and you're asked them here. You can play game A once, or you can play game B once. Say that's what you're allowed to do. Which game would you choose to play and why? And so over here in the answer section, you know, I'm going to be wanting you to replace this text with your answer. But notice, no pressure here. There's not really a right or wrong answer because people have different sort of risk profiles, different attitudes about the win, 40, lose, 8, and, and, and the chanciness involved when you play the game once. So I just want to see how you look at it. I want you to explain yourself, you know, in terms of your choice and then a uh, what about the riskiness made you choose, you know, one option, one game rather than the other? Okay. Now, next up is another version of the problem. Now, in this version, you're supposed to assume that you can either play game A 10,000 times or you can play game B 10,000 times. So you have to pick your game. But whichever one you pick, you then play it 10,000 times. And the question is, which game would you choose to play and why? Now, I'm going to assume, and let's all assume, 
that you're interested in getting as much money as possible. Under that extra assumption, there's actually really only one correct answer to this question. And uh, I have a hint about how you might try to answer it. There's actually several ways you could try to answer it, but this is just one way. Mm -hmm. Try simulation like we've been learning about in this chapter. First, simulate playing game A 10,000 times with the code shown below. And here's that code in our studio, in, in the R Markdown document. Now, notice that the code, when you knit it up, it actually runs and you get this result. Notice that you set the seed. And so actually, you're going to get that same result if you just run the code again over here in um, the R Markdown document, which I will do just to verify. Yeah, 30,016 bucks. And so this was using our make game function that we know about from the slides, where we set up the rules for the game. Two possible outcomes, 50% chance for each outcome, because it was a fair coin being flipped once, and you got to play 10,000 times. And so when we had the computer try to do it, it won you 30,016 bucks, which is great. And next, simulate playing game B 10,000 times with the code shown below. Okay, and so uh, again, looking over same code here, so we're setting the seed, and then we're using that make game function to set up the game, and then just like we did before, we're playing the game, and so it's gonna be 10,000 plays of that game A, and obviously of that game B this time. Now, notice how we set up the game B. This, this is worth dwelling on. In game B, remember you win 40 or lose eight. You win 40 if you get heads both times. Now, what's the chance of getting heads in two tosses? Well, there's four ways that a coin can turn out when you toss it twice. Heads, heads is one way. And then heads, tails is another way. Tails, heads is a third way. Tails, tails is a fourth way four equally likely ways. The heads heads is only one out of four. So there's only a one out of four chance of getting the 40. And that's why probs here says 0.25 right in this place going along with the 40. That means there's a 75% chance of not getting heads heads where you lose the eight bucks. And that's why there's a 0.75 here. And so in our call to the make game function here, we're setting up game B. And then here we are saying we're playing it 10,000 times. And so the game B 10,000 is this little function where if you try it once, it plays the game B 10,000 times for you. Well, let's give it our try. And sure enough, we got what we got when we knitted up the document, 41,392 bucks. So you want to consider which game resulted in more winnings. Now, that's how you would answer the question. By the way, uh, you can set the seeds to other things to just be more sure about stuff. Like you could set the seed here to, I don't know, 2568. And then when you run this first code chunk, it's going to give you a little bit different random results because you started with a different seed. You can also try it down in the game B1000. You could set the seed to, I don't know, 5673 or whatever. And it'll give you a little bit different results. But notice that the game B is still coming out with, with more bucks. I encourage you to change the seeds. But the key is that when you answer the question, make sure you talk about what you got, okay? once you made your decisions about setting the seed. Well, when I knit up the document again, those same things that I got in our markdown, I'm gonna get over here in the knitted version. And those are the numbers that I'm gonna talk about when I make my answer here. So it's a pretty short DA, 
and not really hard to uh, deal with, I think. Um, hit me on the discussion board, though, if you run into any issues. See you later.